Hello friends, we are discussing basics of C Sharp and in this session we will discuss what is function overloading. So as we can see a function overloading means a function having same name, more than one function in the same class having same name but the different parameters or more precisely you can say more than one function in a same class having same name but the signatures are different. It means a parameters can be a different or a written type can also be a different right so then in that case it is called function overloading a function will be called decided by the compiler depending on the base match of signatures at calling time means a function which is gonna have a base match at a, a mainline program gonna execute and uh, another function which is not matching the best match is gonna be ignored right so let's let us check with the demo so here I have a class called a demo class and uh, in this demo class I'm gonna create two functions let's say a public void area and I'm gonna pass a single parameter so this is the function which is gonna find area of square let's say area of square okay and uh, was logic that is number multiplied by number okay so that is area of square right another function I am going to create so let's say I am going to have the same function name okay but in this case we are having two parameters that is number one and number two and that is for area of rectangle right so here area of rectangle is number one multiplied by number two so if you, as you can see we are having two functions area and area both are having the same name but the signature are different in this case the parameters are different so you can say it is a function over loading now which is the function which is going to execute or called so let's say we are passing an object demo right and ob dot area now when you gonna pass this area object dot area is gonna give you two options see one option with the single parameter another option with the two parameter so we are having two options to call this function so if you're gonna pass a single integer value it's gonna call area of square right Gonna be bug. So as you can see, the output is one four four. And again, let's say pass that second parameter. So we have passed two parameters. So in this case, this area function is gonna be called, which is for rectangle. So as you can say 12 multiplied by 2 that is 20 or and is area for area of rectangle so this is the one case how you can use the function overloading right another option is like let's say a case 2 where we have public void show and we have integer number right and let's say console dot right line and we're gonna print the numbers here, right and we have another show method again but which is having string as a parameter 
void right okay and again console dot right line and your number right so here in this case uh, both the functions are having a single parameter but the parameter type is different here the number is integer and here the number is string so this is also called function overloading right let's say if you're gonna call ob dot show and we are having two option if you're gonna pass 12 it is gonna call this particular method and if you're gonna pass double quotes 12 that is a string parameter then this particular method is gonna be called right let's execute uh, as you can see is that shown the 12 right so the moral of the story is how you can use the function overloading various aspects of function overloading i hope this video will be very helpful to you people uh, stay tuned for more videos Happy learning. Thanks.